Okay. Yep. See, I thought he left, he graduated, moved away, and then recently moved back. Oh, I mean, maybe like five years ago. I mean, he is. A, <laughs> he doesn't look it, but that man. He, uh, He's thirty. Tim, yeah, that yeah. Tim is quite the old man. He is an old soul old in man this arc. game. Old man arc. Yeah, brawl veteran. Dude, he, and he, he's neutral. Him and I, static teammates from 2010 to 2011. It's quite fun. These, these little golden days of uh, of brawl. Are you, oh yeah. Are you reminiscing on us right now? Or yeah, I was reminiscing in the car ride up here with uh, Dakota. We were reminiscing about our first brawl tournament. My first one I ever hosted was where I met him. Anyway, oh, wow. we gotta awesome. talk about this. Losers round four. This is a top eight qualifier. Loser gets ninth. And yeah. either one of these guys wants to uh, do that. They want to get into that top eight. And Ark playing out of his mind today, to be honest. Playing doubles with him earlier. He is just comfortable right now. Even in this matchup, which isn't good. I, no, 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 I don't know. I think it's a. I think it's definitely a volatile, even matchup, though. You think I so? think Corrin's juggle game is super oppressive to Falcon. But, you know, Falcon is one of those characters that is designed to kind of like beat Corrin, the yeah. rush down, the characters that uh, can run in and just make, like, can just make that distance from across the stage in a matter of, like, seconds. Oh, for sure. Uh, Back actually, in a matter of, like, a second. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Corrin's been one of our most useful tools, and that speed really comes into play in beating that. Definitely. Because Corrin, if she, like, pins uh, Falcon on shield, there's really not much she can do. She'll just get grabbed. Yeah, you do a jump, but then that's still like you're not in a good position, right? Because you're above yeah. something else. Um, but we're seeing Ark here with a really strong lead against Colm, uh, 113 to 34, and he's looking pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, you can tell Colm fishing for these up airs, getting the knee out of that fastball up air with the taunt. Colm feeling it. Oh my gosh, Ark taunting him right back, saying, "Boy, don't get too cocky, because I ain't tilted. I'm here to win and get in the top eight and send you home crying." Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Ark, you know, Colm is one of those players who makes those huge plays. Ark as well. And he is not afraid to throw those tippers out. Oh, not at all. Not in the slightest. And I like that Ark, despite having this deficit, he's keeping to his game plan. Just playing a patient game, forcing Falcon to make the approach. Because, you know, Corrin, yes, she gets rushed down by characters like Falcon. But, you know, she wants somebody to come into her. She's got an incredible oh, yeah. grab game. And her tilts are beautifully designed to just destroy fastball. She, oh my oh, god! Oh. Christ! <laughs> oh my lord! He just runs off and dodges. Column, please. He looks at me, smirking. <laughs> I see you. I'll beat you in random dittos later. Don't worry, kid. Don't get cocky. Make top eight first. <laughs> as, as I sit here getting 17th sip. Oh man. <laughs> We're about to see this on the anyway, highlight reel. Yeah, guys. Oh, there, this tournament has some moments that could potentially make like Yeet Smash, if I would say so. Oh, God, that was so good. Fantastic there. Oh, we the DDD. Okay, this is a legendary DDD. This is, is who this man played when this game first came out on 3DS and original like Smash 4. Oh, God, card read. He, 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 like, he, loves, about he loves DDD. Oh, yeah. This is his character. You know, you see Ark actually taunt quite a bit. And it's literally because of D2D. Like, it's absolutely fantastic, and I love watching him play. Yep. He also plays the best color D2D, which is the royal purple, in my opinion. Ooh. Column. You can tell. Column, with that, uh, with the up air, the fastball up air knee, the dare, Column is feeling himself. You can look at him. He is just uh, Fox Shot canceling back and forth. He's just going in with these fastball up airs, the jabs. He is styling and profiling. Oh, my gosh. He wants, <laughs> yeah, he's trying to set an example. Uh, that should, yeah, he's got to go out there and contest that. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Board smash! Column, what are you doing? What are you doing, Gollum? <laughs> you had the high ground. What are you doing, kid? You shall be my team. Anyway, <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> yeah, this, that, that's like that back here by Deity. That is a terrifying move for a, a Falcon. Oh, yeah. That, it sends far, and Ooh. when it's got rage, it'll kill. Right, Oh, speaking of killing. Get him out of here. The the taunt, the double taunt. Ark feeling so good. He's like, you know, kid, you styled on me. I mean, kid, I'm half your, like, you're half my age. And uh, I'm going to show you this Brawl Vet status. Oh, yeah. I was really, okay. I've seen some deities do, like, crazy, like, footstool setups. I thought Tim was about to do a footstool setup. And I'm like, what is he doing? He's footstool setting up the footstooler. Jab, wrap, oh. Man, not quite gonna kill. Killed. And Ark's gotta be careful because he can't jump when he's that close to the blast zone. It actually kills like 2% quicker or something. So uh, yeah. really good awareness right there, but 181% likely to die soon. 
Or throw. Gonna get the kill. Yup, there it is. No. There was no sound from that, too. That was a silent death by DVD. All right, what is Ark gonna do to get back into this and after taking that sock? Now you don't. Getting Nair playing is not what this, not the start you want. Back throw, get him off stage, drop that Gordo. Column, not like, you gotta land with Nair or Nair if you wanna beat out the uh, Gordo kill, like the Gordo and just right, right. back at DVD. What a pivot grab, calling out that approach. See, it gets an Nair, I mean, you trade it, but you know, that's, well, okay. Yeah, you got, I mean, like, trading with DDD isn't necessarily a bad idea, like, overall, because he doesn't have kill confirms, really. He no. has to make a read. And you are more likely to have kill confirms than him, right? Like, pull him Yeah, does. look at that. So you got to go for it. Yeah, he's fishing for these fastball up is airs. Oh, misses just barely. He did, he, sh oh, come on, down air him. Ooh, up air doesn't quite take it. Oh, caught the jump. Saved his double jump. Oh, that's it though. Get him out of here. Ark with the character switch, going bottom tier, taking the game. We're going to game two. You know, for the first set that we've been on, this is the first not 3-0. <laughs> that's true. You know what though? Don't tell Ark you think that DVD is bad. He will get angry and then like 17 sack you. That will it's happen. pretty. <laughs> Bayonetta versus DVD says otherwise. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke of a matchup, dude. I. It's dumb. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just up B and then up B again, and it's like, that's your day. <laughs> you just up tilt him forever, too. Like, down tilt, Everything. up tilt. It you, all. It, poor Dean, he gets down tilt, up tilted by, like, bayoneted to, like, 50%. And then you get witch twisted. Going into game three, Ark v. Um, I saw a great game two there by Ark, and now he is feeling himself. Although, uh, Colm seemed to be picking up at the end of game two. Yeah, he's going for the music counter pick with the choice of Wiley's Castle. Definitely wants to feel it. And I like this choice just because of how deep the wall, the balls go for oh, this yeah. Omega. Uh, it allows him for deeper recoveries and it allows him to add in a mix up element. Yeah, really nice decision by him. Uh, Cole? Oh, almost SD, so it doesn't quite. Oh, he's used to the back air just to get rid of that Gordo, send him out of here. Colin looking for his mark. You can tell he's looking for all those grabs or those dash dances. Just trying to find a way in. Oh, the two frame. Dee has yeah. got a big old head, big old bald head. And you know that's one of the things about about Dee Dee is he can't throw any head boxes to like challenge Falcon when he's far away, other than Gordo really. Because that is it. That'll happen. You just yeah. get he just is too fast and he has too many good hit boxes. And uh, everything Dee Dee does is just too slow. Wow. And what I'm liking from Ark is that he's actually DIing the down throw from uh, Falcon pretty well. Ooh. And so, like, he's not getting caught up. You can kind of tell, like, Colin, when he's going for these down throws, he's going for these footstool setups for just, like, uh, a moment to try and see if he can extend it because, you know, Deity's fat. And footstool oh, yeah. is, footstooling he's, he's, is great on fatties. Oh, he was going for a knee there. <laughs> he was going for a knee. He wanted to hard call that out. Oh, he should have committed a lot harder. He had so much to, like, he had so much to gain and so little to lose there. Oh, for sure. And something we didn't see Ark doing earlier was air dodging in that situation. Colm has Ark a little scared. Uh, so he's got to make the most of that if he wants to win against Ark, who is so fantastic at adapting over time and calming down when he wants to. Yep. You can tell. Oh, boom! Dang. Explosion. Like, there is just some type of weird element inside that knee, man. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. Anyway, Colm, 2-1 yeah. in the lead. That counter, that music counter pick showing to be <laughs> quite the uh, quite the play. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like, uh, Mark is one of those people too who loves counter picking um, himself, yeah. as far as characters go. Kirby? I'm expecting it. How about yeah. Kirby? I have literally never seen Ark play Kirby in my entire life. I think he's thinking about Mewtwo or going back to Korra. He, As I do gets. remember him move, like trying to have a Mewtwo for a little yep. bit like last year, but then he kind of just shelved it. He's brought... <laughs> there is this, okay. Sonic I know, yeah. I remember him making, I think top 24 at the last CMU showdown with the Sonic. Yes. And yep. it was like a game three situation where it was like all on the line and he won with it. Yeah. Ark is a pretty solid Sonic, sometimes a little bit more aggressive than you might expect. Um, but overall, his confirms are really good. He has some pretty good mechanics as well. So I'm interested in seeing how Colin responds. And so far, he's in the lead and doing a great job against him. Yeah, 
Yeah. He's not letting, like, Sonic kind of uh, set up the Sonic game plan. Just spin dash on the other side of the stage, weave in and out, oh, yeah. make Falcon's life a living hell. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I remember this is early Smash Four. That's it. Oh, Get that's them out of here. That's three stocks in a row from up air to knee. I mean that that's all Colin's looking for, man. It is a, it is one of Falcon's best kill confirms. Oh we, yeah. It's just like why? It you don't kills need anything early. Else. Kills, you know, it's easy. It's a demoralizer it's too. So good. Like the moment you get like fastball up air knee, you're just like, man. How did I, I scratch up. record? You're wondering <laughs> how I got into this. <laughs> Freeze frame. Right. Oh, I love he, he he knew there was a rolling coming. And you know, Ark, he is looking like he's getting, molly, he's getting molly wobbled. Oh, the people's elbow. 3 0 column. Or 3 1. Two stock on game number four. Column advances into top eight. Good stuff to column. Making it into top eight is the ninth seed of.